Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this foldable A4 into A5 marketing or business flyer or information leaflet. So let's open a new document. The first thing we need to do as we're obviously in A4 portrait at the moment is to turn this document round. So go to layout, orientation, landscape and we'll just zoom in. And then we need to find the center of this page. So the first thing to do is to enter the headers and footers. So double click at the top of the page. You can see we're in the headers and footers. Go to insert, shapes, select the line, click, hold down the shift key, draw a line. You can make this line a little bigger by going to this shape outline tool here. Go to weight and select a greater weight if you want to. And then just go up to arrange, a line, a line to center. That will put your line in the center of the page and then double click in the center of your page and there you will find the middle. Now go to layout, breaks, click on the drop down, and select next page. So now if I zoom out, we've got our two pages of A4 and four pages of A5 to produce our leaflet. Now this page here will be our front cover and therefore this will be the back cover. And then these two here will be the two inside left and right covers of our leaflet. So we're just gonna to go to the very top of our front page and insert some text. So to do this, I'm going to go to insert, text, click on the drop down, select word art, and select this one here. In here, you just have to insert your text. So just start typing, press, Command or Control A, go to the Home tab, go to this icon here and select uppercase. Then I can select the color. I've selected a recent color. If you don't like any of these colors, just go to More Colors. Here you have the color wheel. You can move this little icon anywhere in your color wheel. Color you've selected will be here. And then if you select OK, your text will change. And then when you go back up to the text colors, your recent color will be here. So I'm just gonna select mine. Now you can't see it at the moment, but there is a slight shadow on this text as you're using word art. So to remove that, go up to shape format. If you can't see shape formats because you haven't selected anything, go to format pane, go to text options, go to this icon here, click on shadow and the presets and select no shadow. Then we can go to the home tab and we can adapt our font. I'm going to select this one here and press bold. Then I'm just going to increase the font size. Then I'm going to select a different font. This one here, condensed extra bold, increase the size of it. And then unfortunately you can't use your alignment tools to center this text. So whilst we can center everything to each other as we insert it, We'll just have to use the eye to move it left and right and look at the margins left and right as well. So once I've customized this, I don't really want to go ahead and do that to every box. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it. You can do that any way you like, but I like to select it, hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag, and then just insert your text here. You can press Command or Control A to select it all again. The reason I like to use text boxes rather than put it all into one text box is so I've got more customization options to move these close or far apart, depending on where I want it, depending on the look I want to go for. Once again, I'm just going to copy and paste a few of these because we're going to need them for a variety of different options and just move them down the page. So what I am going to do now, because I've taught you how to produce one of these boxes, I'm just gonna speed up the video to add a little bit more text and then I've got an image to insert and then I'll show you how to create the heading boxes as well. So with these two boxes, I'm just going to select them both once I'm happy with their alignment to each other. Hold down the command and control key to select multiple boxes. Go to shape format, arrange, align, align to center. And then again to arrange. You may have all of these on your toolbar, which is great. I don't because I'm working on a laptop at the moment. 
and then we'll just pop it in the center here but we will align everything at the end because the end is where the alignment really starts to happen so move that down to the bottom now i'm going to show you how to create one of these heading boxes here so go to insert go to shapes go to this rounded edge rectangle click and drag out a rectangle then this has got a border line on it which i don't want so i'm going to select this icon here shape outline select no outline and then in the shape fill i'm going to go back to my blue and then you can see i've covered the text here so i want this box to go behind this text so to do that go to arrange send backwards center back and then you can see it's gone to the back then i can alter this text select it click inside to make sure your cursor's there command and control a to select all of the text and then you can insert your own text clearly you can see the text is too big so select it all go to the home tab then we use this icon here to reduce the size of the text just keep clicking until you're happy i'm going to take the bold off here and go to font color select white and then we can move this around to where we want it and then we're going to use this little square this little yellow square click and drag it along which will make it a complete curve then i'm just going to copy and paste this box again you can do it any way you like i like to use the alt or option key deselect them both then reselect this one hold down the command or control key to select the back one shape format arrange align align to center arrange group and select group and that's our first heading we can just put that one there what we can do is just ungroup that again copy and paste this text for our other headings we can group that back together now we can group this one together i know we haven't arranged it but don't worry just group it together we can move this down to here then again copy and paste that one across and then we can zoom in deselect reselect this one arrange ungroup put the text in that you want once again select the other box holding down that command or control key align align to center and then we can do align align to middle and then group and select group okay so that's where we are so far don't worry about all the alignment as i say we'll come back and do that at the end i just realized that we didn't have this additional box here so in the same way i've just made up that additional box so the next thing is to put in the remaining text in the image so i'm going to just use this box here i'm just going to ungroup it alt or option key and then in the same way i've done all the boxes all i'm going to do now is just simply copy and paste across some text i'm sure you don't want to see me typing there we go now something i need to point out sometimes when you copy and paste across text particularly when it's from ai sometimes you'll find there is a smaller margin this side than there is this side despite the fact that you've centered this text if you need to correct the margins do check them just select the box go to shape format go to format pane over here to this box make sure you're on shape options and here you've got your margins just adjust this right margin and make it bigger so go up to the up arrow just increase that margin and as you can see that text is moving over to the left and just move it over until you're confident that it is in the center and when you are all we need to do let's zoom out all i'm going to do now is to my cursor is currently in this box so i need to take it out deselect it reselect it copy and paste this one and then copy and paste it across here obviously you don't want the same text so what i'm going to do is deselect them both just select this box here select it all command or control a and then command or control v to paste in all of my text and do the same with this box here so this is just normal text there's nothing special about this all i've done is change the color of the text which of course you know how to do because i showed you that earlier you can of course make these wider if some of the text doesn't fit that's perfectly fine and then i'm just going to insert the photo go to insert picture 
You can select a picture from your files. I'm going to select a stock image. You have the option to type something at the top here. So I'm just going to put in smiling people and then select a picture of your choice. I'm going to select this one here and click insert. You can see your picture at the bottom here. It can go anywhere in your document. So don't worry, just keep it selected. Go to arrange, wrap text in front of text and then you can just move it. So now we've got everything into our project. We now need to sort out the alignment. So the first thing we'll do with this page here, just make sure everything is where you want it in terms of these parts together, because all we're going to do now is select everything by holding down my command or control key. Just keep clicking everything in here. Go to layout, align, align to center, group and select group. And then you can move this left or right, up and down. Same with this one here, select this one. Make sure you're happy with the alignment up and down. And of course, up here. Then again, select them both. Layout, align, align to center, group, select group. And then once again, you can move this left and right. You can't use the alignment tool, unfortunately, for this particular design because it will align to the center of the page and not to the left hand side of the page. Again with these two I'm just going to make sure they're all grouped together. Then I'm going to select these two, go to align, align to top. That's just going to mean those two are aligned there. Then I'm just going to grab this one and move it down slightly and again select this one, align, align to top. So that will mean that the margin here or the gap here is the same both sides. Then I'm going to select this one and this one, align, align to center, group, this one as well. And now you just need to make sure that you're happy with their location. You now have to get rid of this line. So double click at the top of your page, click on the line, just press delete, it'll delete that line. Double click back into your document then you can either save this as a PDF, so go to File, Save As, and then in the Word document, you go down to PDF. Alternative, you can save it as a Word document, or you can simply print it out. If you haven't got a double-sided printer, print the front page out first, page one, then turn it over, print out page two. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe, and have a great day.